next guest is engaged in a fight that benefits all of us, seeking ways to beat back cancer. Now, the Israeli company Biologic Design, per their website, is, quote, committed to curing patients by designing and developing a pipeline of revolutionary therapeutics, close quote. In short, by Biologic, they're working on creating what they term breakthrough antibodies. Cancer patients currently testing a medicine made of antibodies that were designed from scratch on a computer in Israel and whose inventor, joining us in just a moment, quote unquote program them to decide, that's the best word to put in there, whether cells surrounding tumors are bad or good. In this fascinating development, we're joined by Professor Yanai Ofran, he's the founder and the CEO of Biologic Design, joining us from Tel Aviv. Thanks for being with us. If I'm not mistaken, this is involving what's termed nano robots at this point. Tell us a bit about the, the trials that are underway in Australia and, and what's happening. Great to be here. So we, we call them nano robots just a way, uh, as a way of helping everyone understand what is it that we're talking about here. The human body has a lot of proteins in it. Basically, everything in life is executed by proteins, and proteins are nanorobots. They're tiny machines made by nature, and they execute every plan that biology has. Biology is implemented with proteins. And in fact, we realized Humanity realized um, um, many years ago that we can use proteins as therapeutics because they are clever nanomachines. Um, and some of the most successful drugs are proteins. But the way we're trying to design this, these drugs today, I mean by we, I mean the pharma world, uh, hasn't changed in many, many years. And uh, in fact, we use mostly antibodies in the clinic and the way the pharma world uses antibodies in the clinic utilizes a tiny fraction of what antibodies can actually do. Now, I understand this, I forgot this right, the AU007 antibody treatment. This is the one uh, that, that's in trial right now. The first computer designed antibody to enter a human trial. Is that accurate here? I mean, it's designed by artificial intelligence software? Right. So we have a platform that we developed over the last 10 years that uses artificial intelligence, machine learning in order to design human antibodies and turn them into a smart drug, a smart therapeutic. Um, and this is the first instance in which we were able to start from a computer model and ended up with an antibody, a human antibody, that is now in the veins of cancer patients in Australia. And this is usually exciting. Yes, it's a fascinating you know, concept to think about here. I mean, talking about the use of artificial intelligence, um, is it the future uh, in, in many aspects of healthcare, especially complex treatment? Is this uh, d the direction healthcare is going, has to utilize AI? Well, it's, it's more than the future. It's kind of like the present already, you know? Um, we are using AI in almost every aspect of our world today. You know, we're using uh, AI in our phones, we're using AI in our cars, um, we are using AI, uh, you know, to, to identify our pictures inside a library of, of pictures, uh, to tag our, our social media. Um, and it's amazing to realize that maybe the last field to enter enter this party of, of benefiting what we can benefit from AI is actually curing diseases. Um, um, and I think it's it's time that we take the amazing capabilities of artificial intelligence and apply it to designing better and smarter drugs. If you look at the drugs that are today in the clinic, conceptually they haven't changed for 50 years and maybe even more. Um, uh, we're using the same type of molecules in the same way. And what we are set to do, and we're not alone, this is uh, um, a huge trend inside the um, um, biological sciences and, and, and medical world. We are trying to bring what we can extract from data using algorithms to improve and bring about the next generation of therapeutics. And AU007, the antibody that we designed and spun into a company called Alus Bioscience, is, to our knowledge, the first example where we designed an antibody from scratch on computers, gave this antibody capabilities that existing technologies cannot give the antibodies that they design, 
and took it all the way, it's a long and expensive process, all the way into the clinic. Now, of course, we need to see that it works. Yes, but yes. Well, we're, we're rooting for you, Professor. Uh, fascinating uh, new technology being deployed here to, to tackle some of the world's worst issues here, like cancer. So thank you for giving us the explanation. And of course, we'll keep track of where things go from here. Professor, you're Naya Ofra.